I'm really proud of what the Senate did today. We passed a full year funding for the Department of Homeland Security. It means we did our job so that those men and women working in every agency can do their job to protect America. Whether it's securing our borders, whether it's the Coast Guard doing search and rescue, interdicting drugs, or doing the ice breaking on the channels, whether the people at cyber, in charge of doing cybersecurity are protecting other attacks on us, and also the grant funding that goes to our local community to deal with our fires and our natural disasters, where the grant funding is going on right today than for the volunteer fire department. The Senate has done its job. Now the House has to do its job. The House has chosen to do one more three-week funding as they get ready to take one more break so they can go out and talk to their constituents about how they're going to fight President Obama's executive order. Well, they can talk about how they want to fight President Obama's executive order. We want to not only talk, but we want to fight to protect our borders. Therefore, we want full funding for our border control, for all of those programs that we have to protect our borders. While they talk, we do. We really call upon President, we, re, we call upon Speaker Boehner to really reconsider next week. Well, get us over the weekend. Reconsider next week what they've done. That before they take one more break, let them fund the Department of Homeland Security for one full year. Now, what we have done, what they are going to do by a short term three weeks funding is keep only some of the doors open at the Department of Homeland Security. The door that's closed is the door to sending grant money to local communities that enlist in defending America or our border. Under the law, no grants can be issued during a continuing resolution. No grants can be issued for a three-week CR. So what does that mean? It will not include Customs and Border Protection for upgrading video surveillance systems to protect our border. It will not do the grants to the local communities for the daytime surveillance systems. And also, those grants will not be going to the port security, like in my uh, hometown of Baltimore. It won't be going to the volunteer firefighters that use those uh, fire grant programs to buy the equipment they need to protect us. So that grant money for their breathing apparatus, for their protective gear is not going out. So that door is closed. You know what? We want to protect America. We took an oath to the Constitution to defend America against all enemies, foreign and domestic. The Senate did its job. I'm so proud of what Senator Shaheen has done as the chair, as the ranking member of the Subcommittee on Homeland Security, that our leadership uh, has been able to find a path forward. We broke the ice in the Senate. Let's them have uh, their actions in the House.